Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hey guys. Clint is loving on the little Arctic. He is um, very demanding right now. And he's not, Clint's not feeling good anyway, so. Uh, guys, we are going to attempt to make a birdhouse for this journal. So, um, in my videos, if you just look up, like, Mailbox, uh, the Ramblin' Crafter, you'll have the mailbox tutorial if you're interested in the mailbox somebody was asking me about that and um if i was going to make one and i really didn't think i would put one in this journal i might but you know right off the bat i'm thinking no i probably won't so i went ahead and tagged her and so there is a link in the last video i guess <laughs> i don't know it's been a day. I just, I kind of ended up having a headache again, so I laid down and took a nap after uh, Sunday's video. And, but, you know what I was thinking is I really want a bird house. Bird house. So, I'm thinking about this size. I just kind of worked it out in my head. <laughs> so, we'll kind of see. But this is a scrap. And little girl, mommy don't need you, honey. Can I say hi? Mom, daddy, or guys, look who it is. You guys haven't seen the cats lately. Mommy usually has tons of stuff. Hi, what are you doing? This is Miss Jazzy Lynn, in case you guys were wondering. She's gotten so big. Oh, she's weighing down. She's weighing down. She likes to, likes to come in and snuggle. <laughs> like mama mama I love being on TV so yeah she's she is a doll Clint and I were talking about her she's just like a little precious lady kind of she has that temperament you know she's not she doesn't really pressure you she just kind of waits patiently she just has really good uh, really good personality yes, yes she does are. she still has that one kind of crooked eye but she can still see as long as we're slow, like with the straw and stuff. Oh, yeah. She loves that. And the other day we gave her a new straw. I can't remember if I told you guys. But she, um, Clint had found a straw. He grabbed one at Subway and it had like broke. And he was like, we need to throw that away. And I said, I ain't throwing that away. That's <laughs> taking it home for little, miss girl. little baby girl. So, and she thought that was the best present ever. <laughs> give her a straw and she's so precious she is the cutest we'll have to get that on video for you guys but you can so see cute it in her face and her eyes yeah just that she's, she's so appreciative thankful. okay so this is about so again i'm just kind of doing this on my head i did kind of review the mailbox tutorial and um i'm not sure let's do this two and a half is what it is wide and then this is three and I think okay. that will work we're gonna try and see this I kind of liked these lines because they kind of look like wood and I think that would work and it's just a scrap I'm just using all the paper scraps that we had in there and so I'm going to kind of trim it down and I think what I'm gonna do is find a center point I need a pencil let me grab one real quick sorry I'll be right back okay so um yeah I thought this would be really fun because this is kind of a garden springy journal and yeah I could easily put in the um a mailbox or something but I thought you know a birdhouse would go better because we have tons of birdhouses you know in the journal already so I'm just kind of getting like a center point and I'll show you what I'm gonna do so and I kind of want it like to have a wide roof and since this has lines I'm just going to kind of match it up there so I have a center point and then one on either side, which is, if you were wondering, is about uh, three quarters of an inch on the side. 
then I'm just going to put it in my paper trimmer and then just kind of cut it like that. Just so I have, you know, a pretty good size. You could, I guess, cut off like one side like we do with the tags and flip it and do that. But it doesn't have to be perfect, but that looks pretty good for a birdhouse. Mm -hmm. And they had, the ones I was, I was looking at, I kind of looked on Pinterest just to see like birdhouses. And then they trimmed down the um, side here. So, you know, it looked almost kind of kite-like and stuff, but I don't think that's necessary. Jazzy Lynn, what are you doing? Uh, I tell you, oops. Jazzy Lynn. And then this is not erasing very well. That's okay, because you know what? We're going to cover that up. Jazzy? She's okay. okay now. Thank you. Jazzy has discovered oh, that hurt. she is a, or we have discovered, I guess, that Jazzy Lynn is a baby for sure. She's like a a toddler right now. Oh, Lord. <laughs> she is like, okay, uh, she's into everything, just like a little toddler is. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. But yeah. She is, too. she is totally a toddler right now. Yeah. So, we are going to just kind of fashion a roof. So, I'm just trying to, you know, kind of figure it out. But I think this is so fun, this little um, kind of fa uh, material. I don't know why I'm not putting you guys in. So, this um, paper. So, what I'm going to do is just kind of line it up. There's little dots on the back. Let's see what we can do. Because I just want it, it to be like a straight line. So there and then let's cut one more I wonder if that would be right no it wouldn't because it would have to be like this huh that's okay we'll make it work but yeah it was uh, had a nice day it's been quiet it's been snowing and the snow disappears and comes back and Let's see. Oh, that's that was Thank my intention. You. Of course, Thank I didn't you. do it right. So, what do I need to do? I have it in my head. I just can't make it. <laughs> I need the other angle so that it, when it comes like this. Okay, let's do it like that. can kind of figure it out in my head, but it's just not, there we go, is that going to work? Yeah, that'll work kind of, huh? Yeah, that'll work almost perfectly. So I just did two uh, sizes. This one is about one and three quarters, and then it has a slant up to about three and a half. So, and then when I put them together in the center, kind of gives us just a simple little um, birdhouse, which is really cute. So, it's just a, see, hun? Oh, yeah, that looks good. So, it's just going to be like a yeah. sim simple, cute little birdhouse. Yeah. That turned out pretty easy, yeah. if you guys can understand my <laughs> instructions. <Really? laughs> uh, I don't know, it just... I was thinking, well, that would work, and I tell ya, I tell ya. So, I'm going to go ahead and glue those on. Just kind of put that to this, like right in the center, I think that's it. And then that one about in the center. And that's totally off. 
Okay, Michelle, what did you do? Okay, so this one wasn't like at the right level. That's okay. We're going to make it work. We're going to make this work, guys, because that's what we do. You know what? And it doesn't even have to. I can just snip that little piece off. Snip this little piece off. And we're done. I made it work. That works just fine. It looks kind of symmetrical. <laughs> so... That's kind of cute. So, and I mean, how how hard is that? It's not hard at all. We can do this, right? Okay, so in order to turn it into a um, tuck spot, like a journaling spot, I was thinking I want like maybe the journaling spot to come up. So we're gonna work on that. And we're just doing one of these for the journal. Um, I don't want to like do over stuff, you know, I just think that's going to work just fine. I don't want to, uh, get over ambitious. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of, I'll probably use some of this scrap. And what I need to do is make a little, um, kind of track to keep this, my, um, my papers in here so and this isn't that great of a you know scrap so I don't mind using it mm. oh. what's wrong oh is that little guy oh okay sorry that's okay we know you hurt baby so we are making bean soup today for supper with our Anasazi beans in case you're keeping track of what we eat every day. <laughs> mm -hmm. What was funny is, um, you know, I went back and kind of revisited the um, mailbox one because I was sharing it with that one lady. And um, that night we had we were eating uh, Anasazi beans as well, and I thought that was kind of funny that because we'd already planned, you know, it today. Mm -hmm. So. The, that was kind of funny. So, yeah. So that track there. If I wanted to, I think I could cut this in half. Little guy. So, if I do that, then I'll have two tracks for here. That'll work. And you can use like foam, um, foam tape or something. I don't have any right now. I'm thinking about getting some, but it's not real, really a necessity for me. So I looked and I could not find any. So, but I used to use it like nonstop. So I'm not surprised I'm out. Well, you've used a lot. I have. I used to use it a lot, but I haven't. I haven't used it like a lot. I think you would. In here, yeah, if I had some, I would definitely. So, I wanted to mention, somebody had said, and I think it was, who was it? Anyway, she went in and was having, she kept oh, trying yeah. to buy the, um, one of the journals, and she said it kept kicking her out. No, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry, Elizabeth. I don't know if it was just my, you know, going on on my side. I did look on um, like the communi Etsy community and if there is an issue with stuff then they usually you know say hey is everyone having this issue or is it just me and other people were having a similar issue so I'm thinking it was just a glitch with on Etsy and I'm so sorry you missed out because she said she was trying to get um, I think the butterfly oh, one girl. yeah and um, okay. it just didn't post. I have no idea why, but I was having the same issue when I put up the lace journal the day before. So I kind of had it in the back of my mind that, oh, this could happen. I didn't expect it to take like 20 minutes to upload. So I am so sorry. I feel so bad, but I, I did pick up some new paper, like I was talking about in the earlier video. And, uh, we're going to go ahead and glue these down. But, um, 
we're going to have similar TNs and a similar um, lace journal, but using different paper because, you know, I like to have my journals different. I don't like them to be like ident identical or anything, which I don't even think I could make them identical. Oh, I don't think so <laughs> For one thing, I used up all my lace, some of my lace on this particular journal. Not that I don't have enough to, but so the laces would be different and you know, I almost used up all my papers. I might have enough for one more TN, but I don't know. But we, we do have more similar stuff coming. I went on and looked, and I really fell in love with some of the papers. I'm like, told Clint, look at this, look at this. He's like, get it, get it. <laughs> get that paper, you need it. <laughs> oh, you guys. Yes, I am lucky. I've had a lot of people say, you know, my husband doesn't doesn't understand and he's not crafty or whatever, but Clint is really he's always in the the root he always roots for me. You know, he's like, You can do this, you can sell this, you can yeah, he's an encourager, main you know. Doesn't matter what I do, if I go on a diet, he's like, You can do this, honey, you got this. Even if I fail <laughs> he's like <laughs> Uh, you could have done it. You're okay. You're <laughs> Sorry. I'm kind of thirsty today. So that's kind of cute. So yeah, that, there's our, <coughs> our little track. And I was thinking you could just glue it down like this if you wanted to. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and put a backer. But first, I want like to cut a piece here so that um, we can put a journaling spot because that's the whole point. That's the whole point of this. So maybe this piece, that's pretty. And what I'm going to do is, let's just kind of mark it. And I cut a couple of pieces about this size. You want to do this before you glue it in or before you put a backer on it because otherwise it may not fit and then it'll be harder to make it work. So, hey baby, you okay? Oh, your quill? Yeah, So yeah, see that worked out pretty well. That's going to slide in there really nicely. It might be a little bit wide. Let me check it and see. I just don't want it to bind up any. So yeah. Let's trim them just a touch. Like really, 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 really little. And then I'll go ahead and just trim this other one. <coughs> well, I had to find my coffee dyed paper. I think I have some. Oh yeah, I see it over there. Uh, well, you don't have to get up and get it. I can do it. It's over there on top. I think I still have a yeah. I think I still have a couple of stragglers of coffee dyed paper. One of one of my subscribers has said she's sending me some. So thank you, sweetie. I appreciate that. That is so sweet. Okay, so that looks kind of fun. Just a little tiny. Oh. <laughs> Clint pulled, yeah. Oh yeah, this will work fine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. All I need is just a little for a hinge. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. So you could have, you know, cut a larger piece and then just folded it over. You don't get a really nice close if you do that. So I like to put a hinge because I want this to be like a little sandwich thing. And hopefully this is making sense to you guys. <laughs> Cuz I know sometimes I I kind of overdo it and it doesn't quite work. Okay. I wanted that to go on the inside, huh? doesn't really matter but mm -hmm. 
So you'll see this on Monday, and I'm pretty sure we don't have any work. No. So far on Monday, we may have to go somewhere on Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday for sure we'll have to go, but um, our anniversary is Friday. Yeah. And 22nd anniversary. Whoa, whoa. The best 22 years of my life. I remember that. <laughs> so true. I tell everyone, you know, that I'm living my happily ever after. And after 22 years, I still feel like I'm living my happily ever after. Yeah. So. But we, uh thought we might run down to Farmington. We haven't really made a, we just ha you know, like eat out at um, Olive Garden or something. Do a little shopping, maybe go to a thrift store or they have antique stores down there that we've never been to. Mm -hmm. But it depends on how we feel and if we're up for it. If we don't have a lot going on, we might just go. Yeah. We usually don't do anything for our anniversary, but this mm -hmm. year we have the funds to Go and do something so that would be kind of fun just to go shopping <laughs> we don't shop enough do we baby oh no or at least i don't <laughs> so yeah okay guys so then i'm gonna fill this up with some coffee dye paper and I think what I want to do is that one piece. Is it this one? No. I got so much paper here now. Um, the one with the stripes on the back. Not that it matters. There it is. I was just thinking it was the same. Um, same width, so it'd be kind of easy. And I'm just going to just kind of make it so just a little backer for this, and then that will go on there. And I could just kind of trim this down, it doesn't matter, I don't think. Yeah, I'm gonna trim it. <laughs> so, and then we'll just glue it down here. And then when we glue it in the book, we'll just glue on this and pop it into the book. You guys know where I'm going with this? Can you tell yet? Sorry, it's kinda. So I'm gonna smear this. I don't want it to come out where I don't want it to and glue down, you know, like on the inside. And then just line that up. I might have a page right now that I could probably put this on in the journal so you guys can see like the full aspect of it. And then my little thing here, once that's glued down, will slide right in like that so now we just have to figure out what we're going to put up here so that we can easily pull that out and um you know what i mean so we have like a little handle so we can pull it out i was thinking of like a um a little bird or something so i'm gonna look in my box my glory box and see if I have like a bird or a flower that would work. I don't know. I thought even about, which I think would be cute, is making like a chimney. Should bird houses have chimneys? <laughs> well, some of fancy ones. You know, too. it could. I think that would be cute. And then all I'd have to do is just cut here. Maybe that's what I'll do and then just leave it, you know, a little bit shorter. Let's just do that. That'd be kind of cute. One thing I have not done is ink around it, Michelle. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Okay, let's go ahead and ink. And I'm okay with kind of getting it underneath because that'll kind of give me a little bit of shadow. 
just kind of like you know the roof is overhanging the overhang yeah so something like that oh you know what the sides <coughs> and I'm gonna trim this part down right the back part is kind of over hanging further than I want it to and I don't want to see the back from <coughs> from this at all isn't that cute can't wait to see how this journal comes out it's so cute okay so let's pop this back in here and figure out okay how I want this and I think I'm just gonna do like a kind of large chimney and we'll pull that out just a place you know that I can kind of grab hold of to pull out my secret message like that and then this will go in here okay trim this little area off right there so there's a little chimney on our that's cute guys what do you guys think and oh I like it yeah that's cool <laughs> is that your pool yeah that's my pool oh, no, so no. it's just a little chimney and let's go ahead we'll kind of distress this one and make it look kind of like a uh, rock chimney or whatever this is so fun mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so now that we have the chimney done I want to put some coffee dye paper because I want you know people to use this whoever gets it uh, can have a fun place to journal in so I'm not gonna put a lot because I don't feel like um, my lifts or whatever it was that I don't feel like they are um, long enough does that make sense so or like wide enough and I don't want it to kind of bind up and stuff so I don't want it too thick So I am just going to just kind of fold a piece of coffee dye paper up because you guys know I love putting secret places in my journals. I think it's just fun. Clint and I do have kind of came up with like the ultimate tuck spot and we need to work on that this year. We were going to try it for last year but we didn't get it done. Yeah, we do. But I think it'd be really fun. And, you know, there's a book out that's called, like, The Secret or something like that. But I think that would be a fun cover to use for it. Boy, it's neat. Yeah, Clint has been designing it. We're going to have another design, um, secret design element in this journal that we've used in the past, if that tells you anything. Donna, if you're watching. I don't know. I haven't heard from Donna lately. Yeah, she did say, I think she saw the flip through. Mm -hmm. I think that was it. So, and then I just want to glue that down right there. So, okay. Put it down as far as I can to the bottom. Make sure it's pretty straight so it doesn't kind of bind up or anything. And then there's a little overhang. I'm just going to trim that. There we go. And we'll see if that's too thick or anything when we put it back in the journal or in the tuck spot. So then when you pull it out, you'll have all this journaling spot. So, isn't that fun? Now i got to find my... There it is. <laughs> I made too much of a mess here. Okay, so that is going to fit 
in here just like that. So it's just going to slide in. It's a little, um, what am I thinking? It's a little um, tight, but I think it might still work fine. So let's go ahead and stick that on one of the pages. Let me find a page just so you can see how it works. I'm, I don't know. I feel like it might be too tight. Let's just cut one of these off. Just cut this one off. Let's do it like this. I like the idea of having a little lip that kind of you can grab a hold of and pull out. I just don't want it to be a hindrance, you know. I want it to be a fun little aspect. That's a little bit better. There we go. Okay. So, let me find my papers, which are right here. And I think I know exactly which one I want this to go on. And yeah, I, mean, I haven't put all my papers in. It was just... Um, the beginning of my papers but I was thinking like up here for a bird's nest and then that will be glued down and then you can kind of pull that out and I think I might want to double up on that it feels a little bit flimsy and I definitely do not want it to break so just a little, just a little piece of something here Is there? Mm -hmm. Oh, how funny. And then that will, it kind of gives it more um, sturdiness so it doesn't break. Let me pull it out. That is so cute. Oh, I like it. Isn't that cute? Yeah, so, cute. I kind of <clears throat> wanted to cover up this guy because I have him kind of chopped in half. <laughs> and, um, so I was thinking that we have this. See, this is the piece it was, but I kind of like the ground or the. Yeah, I really like the grass. So I want to cut that in half. Kind of add the grass, and then we'll add like a little um, thing. Here it's going to be too short. Let me see. You know what? Let's use this piece because I don't have to worry about covering up anything. Mm. And then it'll kind of be perfect. And then we could even put like a um, pocket or something there. That might work. I'm thinking. Yeah, so that would cover him up and kind of give me okay an idea so if I put him down here you're not really gonna see that you know there's a thing down there but if we put him up here we could put a pocket there I don't think that's necessary though and I think I'm gonna go ahead and just glue the whole thing down yeah that's what I'm gonna do I wasn't sure. I'm debating. Debating on what to do, but I don't really want this part to be the focus. I really want the birdhouse to be the focus. So. And with my little guy in there and all. want to make sure that he's well, you know, covered up and stuff because I don't want just half a bird on a page. I can slide it over a little. Hmm, maybe not. Just turn this part down.
There we go. And then he, this is going to be like the focal point on this page. You're not really going to see this part. I didn't really do a very good job trimming. But um, that's going to be, you know, in the center. So it's not going to be that big of a deal. So I do need a, and then I think I'm going to bring that down. And maybe I'll put flowers or something over the seam. But I do need a um, post. We need a post. So let's just see what we have here. Uh, do I still have that paper? You guys, this is so fun. It's so fun to kind of be creative and just kind of come up with something different. You know, the... Yeah, let's use the same paper. Let's cut it down to about half an inch or so. And we'll have our post. That'll be kind of fun. So let's just kind of do It kind of is. And let's just do it like this. And there's our post. That's fun. Okay, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> That's, yeah, it is the main thing, isn't it? Yep. Let's see, do I want it kind of... Yeah, we'll put it on the right side as far as possible. There we go. And then, oh, distress it. <coughs> hmm. Okay. I am using art glitter glue if you're new here. It's my favorite glue. It's just a really good, um, all around glue. <coughs> so, just kind of eyeballing it to make sure it's straight. I think that's about straight. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell, but I think it's straight. Yeah. yeah. And then this is going here. And then what we're going to do with the glue is just this piece on the back, not on the um, on the eaves or anything. Just this one little piece on the back, and especially where it's going, where that piece is going in, we want to make sure that is well glued. So we're just going to glue the whole thing down. If I did it again, I'd probably build it up a little bit more just to give me a little bit more room in there, but um, I wasn't sure. And then I'm going to just kind of wipe this off, kind of smear it a little bit so that it doesn't like leak onto my secret spot. And then again, it's going right there. Does that look straight? Yeah. Now we're gonna glue that down. This is so fun. <laughs> so fun, so fun. And then this comes out easily. So I think that's really cute. Yeah, it feels like it's even coming out easier because it's already glued down. It just gives me some leverage, you know. So let's go ahead and put some kind of flowers or something. Maybe um, a circle here. Because I think we need that for our uh, birdhouse, for our birdies to get in. Always thinking, guys. <laughs> oh, I tell ya. So, I think I'm going to revisit some of those um, flowers that we used in yesterday's video. <coughs> like this, you know, just kind of something to maybe like a climbing rose or something that might be kind of cute or it could be kind of like in the center like down here maybe of course the bow is not really going the right way let's see what else we have 
<laughs> okay, what about something like this? So it's kind of... Ooh, I like that. That's really cute, and it's going to go on the right way. The size is right, and yeah, that's kind of cute. So if I have anything else like that, that maybe I could put, you know, other places. This large piece. I don't know. I don't know. Nah, I don't like that. <coughs> I know you guys are giving, giving me your advice. <laughs> Someone said, you never take my advice. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Add a little bit of bluebells or whatever those are. Don't feel bad she doesn't take my advice either. I don't take Clint's advice either. I do too. What have I not taken? I don't want to hear. Never mind. <laughs> so you can say, what have I not taken your advice on? <laughs> never mind. I'm always like, no. Honey, what do you think of this? Oh, I like it. I don't. I'm still not going to use it. <laughs> huh? That's your wife. <laughs> I was wishing that I had a little tiny um, bird, you know, to go on there. I have this guy. He's too big, though, isn't he? Well, he might not be. If I put him, like, down here, maybe. Is he too big? Because it could be like he's way down front. I think he's like a giant bird. <laughs> yeah, he's a giant bird. <laughs> oh, you guys. It's like this massive bird. It's like Bird King Kong or something. I don't yeah, know. He's a little big. A little big. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Just a little big. I was hoping I could find like just a little tiny bird. I'm trying to think like if I have a charm or something. And that might be something I have to look for, you know, before I can finish this. Because I don't want it to be like really, really large. This is what I need right here. One of these birds. You know what? I probably have a cutoff. I was going to say, I probably have a cutoff probably right here. Oh, look at me, guys. I'm so awesome. <laughs> Boy, that don't make you Not one bit. Man. Not one bit. <laughs> it's like a little birdie miracle. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I feel like it's been a long weekend <laughs> and I love the weekends but I think yeah I don't know I just did a lot this weekend and do what hun it hasn't been and I should I should not be I think I just did so much and ended up hurting myself because I did too much and holy moly it's windy out there right now and there's about 40 inches of black Oh, wow. They all just flew in. We have blackbirds everywhere right now. Tons of them. And uh, keeps the cats busy. Well, yeah, we've been having quite a few finches and uh, crud. Finches and crud? We haven't yeah, had crud. I can't remember that. <laughs> he had a snowbird, but he didn't eat. Oh, I thought you said he was eating. No, he was on top of it. Oh. We have snowbirds all over the yard that they're foraging instead of eating the yeah, seed. Yeah, instead of eating the bird seed. So, which they say they do. They have, if they have a choice between foraging and having bird seed, they'll, they'll forage. Oh, so I didn't realize that. You probably, probably told me that, but you know. I don't know if I did or not. Oh, okay. And then, uh, I don't know either. I was reading them because it was... I love snowbirds. I think they're just such a beautiful bird. They're and really pretty. And so he's talking about the black-eyed juncos, yeah, if you're not. Yeah, we we have those. And so pretty, we wait every year for them to come in. Yeah. That's one of my favorite things in the winter, is just to look out, watch it snow, and watch the birds. I just enjoy that so much. Boy, that is, like, perfect. Look at that. So I need a circle right there, huh? 
Can I draw a circle? With a black pen? Oh, do you have a thing? Well, that one compass I use for working. Oh, yeah. Probably. Is it in the bedroom? No, it's in my thing. I just, I just need a little tiny circle, and I don't think I have a punch that size, so that would probably work. Oh, I could probably find it something. Do I want to show? I think that's too big. That's way too big. So, if I had the cap of it, that would be perfect, but I don't. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go find something to make a circle, and then we're going to finish this page up. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I found a thimble. I think, well, Clint found it. And then I'm just going to trace it around and I'll just draw on like a, that's a good size. Draw on a um, circle. Could have done it out of black paper, but I think that would take too long to get it right. It's kind of hard to cut out a circle. But yeah, um, I forgot what I was going to say. There we go. So I hope you guys are all doing well and you had a good weekend. Anyone do, do anything fun? Got to be people out there doing stuff on the weekend. We don't ever do anything, but. <laughs> We do so much during the week, and we're gone, you know, that, um, I know this is monotonous, but I got to do it. But, yeah, we, um, don't go anywhere on the weekend, hardly ever, you know, we did it Christmas time for my sister, but that's about it. No, we go on the road yeah, when we're out and about and, you know, during the week, we just kind of rest. And we haven't really been out and about a lot lately, but it's fixing to get busy. And we know that, so. Mm -hmm. We have to rest up for that time of year. Yeah. No. And then it slows down when it gets really, really hot. Yeah, then it'll slow down when it gets really, really hot. Okay. I'm going to let that dry. And try not to touch it because I don't want it to smear. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Okay, Michelle, quit messing with it. <laughs> so, while that's just sitting there drying, I think it's not going to take very long. It's a really good pen. I am, oops, I'm not even using that one. <laughs> I am going to use um, Distress These Guys that I wanted to use. I think I'm just going to go ahead and glue all these down. I just think that'll be really fun. So, like this one, I think he goes there. And yeah, they're probably supposed to be like bouquets or something, but as far as I'm concerned, they're going to be uh, growing up out of the ground for this page. And I had one more. I went ahead and pulled another one while I was looking for a pen. I think this goes with it too, just kind of like that, just so I have three across the bottom. Really like how that was looking. I'm using a walnut stain today just because I still haven't found my uh, distress ink, so I'm going to have to order another one. <coughs> So, and then our little bird, I wanted to go ahead and just kind of give him a little bit of distress. Just so his edges look really nice and clean. And this has already been distressed, so that's going to go there like that. And then I figured that could kind of like, you know, I can act like it's covering up the little what's it called the little perch that will work and then this guy can stand here maybe behind like that maybe on top I kind of like that okay so just like that so let's see what we can do 
this is so fun. <laughs> I know I say that all the time, but this is so fun. When you're just, you know, something just comes together and you're just happy with how it's looking and that there and I think that's a really good shape to go right underneath that circle and then this little guy can go here and then I was thinking about this little uh, established thing established I don't know and just kind of trimming it out. This was one uh, on that piece of paper that had the bird on it. So I thought that'd be kind of cute just like down here. As like a little um, nameplate type thing. Established. I don't even know what it says. <coughs> Never mind. But it's cute. And I may as well use it, right? Like right there just to give it a little bit of interest and then we'll glue these guys down that didn't take too long so I just want to make sure my you know it looks like it's coming out of the ground because I want it to feel springy And then this one. This one was so fun, guys. Hope you guys give this a try. I think you'll like it. If you like little secret spots. That's one of my favorites. And then, of course, when you pull this out. <laughs> it's like a little bit. And then you can journal in there. And then it goes back in. Just kind of lift up on the roof and then just pop it back in there. So I love it, guys. I hope you guys give this a try. And, you know, come join us over on Facebook. We are the Rambling Crafters with an S. Over on Facebook, we always have a link below. So let me know what you guys think of this. And um, be sure and hit that subscribe button. We do put up pretty much daily videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.